First off, I'd like to start off by thanking SCOE for putting on this great event. And I'd also like to thank uh, Twin Rivers Unified School District and Mr. Porter here for providing me this opportunity to represent the many other great teachers that's part of that district. And most importantly, I have to thank Principal Craig Murray and Mr. Darius Henson over there for realizing my passion for teaching four years ago and finding a place for me at Grant High School four years ago. And for the fact that they have provided constructive feedback and criticism that I've needed to develop into a great educator today. So thank you. <clears throat> my family has always told me that in order to be a great teacher, you gotta be a great student first. So today, I would like to share four things that I've learned during my journey as a teacher. First, I've learned a lot from my students. My students, every day, they tell me, Mr. Raja, you did that really good, but what you did over there, that sucked. And they, <laughs> they, 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 talk, they tell me every day. And them reflecting me, they have made me the teacher that I am today, my students. They have helped me to teach the way they learn. Number two, <clears throat> I have learned a lot from the admin at Grant High School. Mr. Marshall, Mr. Henson, Ms. Davey, and Mr. Murray. They have helped me to redefine success as being more than just test scores. While Grant has shown huge gains in its scores, there are other stories of success that I now appreciate. For example, a student that rises from far below basic to basic, that's success. A student that decides to leave the Norteño gang and find a new sense of belonging in the drumline band <laughs> or the Renaissance or Paces for Peace. That is also success I now appreciate. Also, I've learned a lot from my peers and mentors, Ms. Avila, Mr. Hiranaka, Ms. Providence, and Mr. Van Buren, about the role that motivation plays in achievement. They have convinced me that adults and students were all alike in one major way. We're all human. And as Abraham Maslow has shown, all humans, they want to be challenged with high goals, and they want to be recognized and they want to feel a sense of belonging and feel important. Therefore, I think every school in America, especially urban schools, they need to create Oscar nights, just like this, Hall of Fames, all-star teams, that, that make it cool to be a great teacher and cool to be a great student, and glamorize success like we're all celebrities. I mean, this feels great, you know? <laughs> I mean, in fact, I really think every student and teacher should belong to teams or gangs of excellence that are so cool that it lures other people away from those gangs of mediocrity. We gotta make it cool to be successful and hard to be mediocre. People will rise to expectations. Lastly, I have learned a great deal from you guys, from you great teachers, that both you and I and all great teachers, we, we seem to share one common trait, and that is we take personal responsibility for our students' success, our students' learning. Our success is not determined about from how much teaching we do. Our success is determined from how much learning and mastery our students have accomplished. Furthermore, I think we all agree that if our students fail, we have failed. So ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to everyone in here, and I'm proud to be a part of this gang of excellence. Thank you. <laughs>